Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatina Bila Benji Azri, metric number 285764. First of all, we move to the introduction part. Cyberbullying on Instagram is getting worse and it is a serious issue as it can affect the victim's life. Due to the issue, our group have conducted a survey on cyberbullying on Instagram. We have created several questions regarding the Instagram users like their age, gender, status and institution if they are still studying. We also did not forget to include questions like how much time they spend on Instagram per day, their total followers and whether their Instagram account is public or not. From this survey, we obtained 138 respondents from Instagram users which is aged from 17 to 29 years old. The objective of this survey is to examine the relationship between different personality styles and coping on social media. That's all from me. Thank you. Now I'm going to present the data set description for this survey. It consists of 55 questions which are divided into four parts. Part A, which is for personal information, Part B, motivations using Instagram, Part C, Instagram utility, and the last one is Part D, experience on Instagram. There are 55 variables in this array. One of them is string variable, 6 nominal variables, and 49 ordinal variables. And for my part, I will explain about the data analysis pre-processing results. In the bar chart below, is the percentage of age in our sample will respond to the survey question. There is age 17 until 20 are 17.6%, 21 until 24 is 62.5%, and lastly, 25 until 29 is 19.9%. Next, Watch out for the gender respondent, the total female that are respond to the survey is 63.5% and the male is 36.5% and that's all from my part. Next, I will pass to the next presenters. For status bar chart, the majority of the Instagram users with 66.4% are full-time students. 32.1% are currently working, 0.7% users are both working and part-time students at the same time, and 0.7% are housewife. The result for Instagram users' time usage per day are 38.2% use Instagram just for 30 minutes, 33.8% use it for 1 until 2 hours, 13.2% use Instagram for 3 until 4 hours, and the least one at 13.2% spend their time on Instagram for more than 4 hours. Next, we move on to the followers by chart. As we can see here, 49.3% is the highest percentage, which means the respondents have more than 400 followers, while the lowest percentage is 5.1%, which is they are, have only 101 until 150 followers. Next, privacy by chat. From the slide, we can see that 76.6% uh, .6 of respondents make their account Instagram public, while the rest, which is 23.4%, make it their account Instagram privacy. For the part here is I will be talking about analysis result. The analysis that we chose is social interaction. Uh, for the analysis result, we have been done for the question and each question we have been collected into a table. This is the table of the social interaction and now I will explain a bit about the mean, median, mode, variant and standard deviation. This is one uh, example of the data we have obtained from our survey. We have transformed our survey data into numbers for analysis. We have appropriately used block spot, box plot and bar chart, mean, mode, median and standard deviation. We analyzed the motivations for using Instagram. The study list for the question part B is social interaction. Social interaction have eight items mean that the questions are obtained in the social interaction. The table shows the average, class boundaries, 
Frekuensi komuniti frekuensi Mid Point and Power of Su FM and FM Power of Su for social interaction table. We did the same for all the other data in our analysis. This is our bar graph for social interaction. The bar graph shows the frequency and average. So we can see here the data from table we interpret into the bar graph. For less than 5 is the higher, the frequency is 61 and the lower frequency is 1 less than 2, obtain 2 frequency. All the calculation we use formula to get the correct answer, we calculate the mean to uh, the total of FM divided by 138, uh, the frequency and we got 4.587 for the mean. Then for mean, we have a uh, median, we have to find the LM first, so LM is 4.5. F is 23, FM is 61, and I is 1. So using the formula, we, we got 5.254. For what we have to find the increment 1 and 2. The increment 1 is uh, 61 minus 9 equal to 52. The increment 2 is 61 minus 51 equal by 10. So we calculate using the mode formula. formula then uh, we got 5.339 for mode. We move to the next part, the variance. For variance, S power of 2 equal to the total of Fm power of 2 is 3079.5 minus the um, minus the total uh, of Fm power of 2 divided by 138 and then divided by 138 minus 1 and we got 1.284. The last one is standard deviation. Using the standard deviation, formula radical uh, equation s power of 2 then we got 1.284 use the calculator press the radical equation symbol and the number 1.284 then we got 1.133 so then for our analysis result of social interaction that's all for me i pass to the next presenter to find quartile first we need to organize the data in ascending order then use formula n plus 1 divided by 4 to get the position for quartile 1. The total respondent for this survey is 138. So n is 138. And we will get 34.75 which can be rounded as 35. Then look at the position 35th in the data which is 4.25. So q1 is 4.25. For quartile 2, Use formula 2 times n plus 1 divided by 4, we will get 69.5. Then look at the position 70 as it has been rounded. Q2 will be 4.75. Use formula 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4 to get quarter 3. And we will get 104.25. So look at the position 105 of the data, which we will get 5.125. To get interquartile range, IQR, we use formula Q3 minus Q1, which will be the output is 0 0.875. To draw the box plot, we need five important data, which are the mean, Q1, Q2, Q3, and the max of the data. The minimum data is 0 0.5, Q1 is 4.25, Q2 is 4.75, Q3 is 5.125 and the last one, the maximum data is 6. So the image below is the box plot for social interaction. And for my part, I will explain about the hypothesis test. So we take a social interaction as our example. As before the survey was conducted, we roughly assume that the average of the hours taken by people aged between 17 until 29 Years all spent on Instagram each time is 4 hours. A random sample of 138 people was selected and produced a mean of 4.4982 hours with a standard deviation of 1.1041 on Instagram for social interaction. For the step 1, HO mean is equal to 4. Which A mean is less than 4. And for the step 2, significant level or A equals 0 0.05. And for the step 3, Z equal 4.4982 minus 4 and 1.2041.
divide with square root 138 and we get uh, the answer is equal for 4.86 and for step 4 the sign less than in the HA indicates that the test is left tail area in the left tail A equals 0 0.05 so critical value minus z 0 0.05 equal and the answer is uh, minus 1.65 for the step 5 the value of z equal 4.86 so it fall in the rejection region so we reject ho mm. the step 6 interpretation at the 5% significant level the data provides sufficient evidence to conclude the, that the main people spend on Instagram is time is four hours. That's all from me. Thank you. Next, we move on to the discussion and conclusion part. The objective of this survey is to examine the relationship between different personality styles and coping on social media. From previous discussion and slide. We can see that the highest percentage is 44.2% of respondents using Instagram for social interaction, which is 61 respondents out of 130 respondents. In conclusion, the objective of this survey, which is to examine the relationship between different personality styles and copying on social media, had been achieved through this survey, as 138 respondents had gave their cooperation in answering the question that was provided in Google Form from us. That's all from us. Thank you.